Hi guys, you are welcome to Motor Nation. In this video, we will be talking about the Tesla RoboTaxi and its place in the EV market. The Tesla brand is strongly associated with EVs. But when we thought Tesla couldn't get more innovative, Elon Musk puts out an announcement on X. With this announcement, it is obvious Tesla is up to something new. And car enthusiasts might want to forget about spending $25,000 on EVs. EV enthusiasts have looked forward to owning an EV by simply spending $25,000. Of course, they could get this sometime in the future. But right now, the focus is on the Tesla Robo Taxis. Musk's announcement of the Tesla Robo Taxi coming into the market might be quite sudden. But it isn't as sudden as several people think it is. You see? As far back as 2019, Musk already spoke about self driving taxis. Although he spoke about them quite passively, he meant every word he said. How will the Tesla Robo Taxis function? The idea of a Tesla Robo Taxi roaming the streets might seem strange. Well, beyond looking strange, it has also raised lots of questions, and Elon already has answers to some of these questions. Musk already has a reputation for selling mind-blowing products. The implication of this is several folks already know that this is one vehicle they might want to have a feel of. Some others might want to move on to the next step and own one. However, based on Elon's master plan, it doesn't seem like Tesla is designing these robo-taxis to be owned by regular folks. Well, this is just one side of the coin, as it is also believed that the owner of X wants the Tesla robo-taxis to replace regular cars where one would have to move around with the help of a steering wheel. The date for the release of this Tesla Robo Taxi is August 8th. Well, as much as this is a date, several folks will look forward to from our point of view. There is a lot the average person needs to know before this product gets released. Although a good number are in the dark about what this car offers, not everyone is exactly in the dark, and you likely fall into this category of people if you've been following Musk's announcements on X. Also, one thing you might have picked up is that the Tesla RoboTaxi will depend on full self-driving technology. But that's not all. There will be lots of features, as this product is supposed to do things that a taxi can do without actually having anyone behind the wheel. How is this vehicle supposed to operate? There have been several back and forths about how this product is supposed to function. Initially, it appeared that the Tesla RoboTaxi was absolutely dependent on the full self-driving technology. And as soon as it got this right, all customers needed to do was get their vehicles to become a part of Tesla's ride network. With this, they will be able to offer rides to various people in exchange for some funds for the owner of the vehicle. So this vehicle was supposed to function by taking care of its payment, and owners would make a lot of money by simply owning one. When this plan came on the scene, it seemed perfect. However, Tesla changed it and put out a different plan. Tesla's second plan was to lease these vehicles to interested folks for a while and reclaim ownership of these vehicles after the lease period ends. So, contrary to the assumption that the money made from these vehicles would go to them, the owners would make money by owning one of these Tesla robots. This, in itself, felt great. But Musk wasn't done quite yet. The third plan was to build vehicles that would come with features that regular cars do not possess. Well, these vehicles will depreciate over time, and that would be Tesla's business. It would handle the costs of depreciation. Is Tesla ready to put out these vehicles? According to Musk's tweets, these Tesla Robo Taxis should be ready on August 8th. Although there is a possibility that this product might be ready at the time planned, the chances of things not getting ready as planned are greater. Tesla's Robo Taxis depends on full self driving technology, and this isn't a problem. But there is a challenge, and this challenge is that this technology isn't even ready. Now, this is where it gets interesting. This technology has to be ready and tested several times before it can gain the trust that is needed to run a self-driven vehicle. The issue of full self-driving technology not being available is a big one. But even bigger is the fact that it doesn't even seem close to getting ready. And that's not all the problems that will be dealt with. There is also the issue of obtaining permits for different towns and cities. And trust me, these cities will have very different standards. So, the fact that it gets accepted to operate in one city 
doesn't necessarily mean it can operate in other cities. How many trips does this vehicle need to make before becoming road ready? Before being ready, the Tesla Robo Taxis will need to do at least 10,000 trips in a row before it can be considered roadworthy. This is quite a lot, but it is even the least it has to do. There are suggestions that it might need to do about 50,000 to 100,000 trips before it is considered roadworthy. What does Elon think of this product's process so far? Elon Musk knows the Tesla Robo Taxi is far from ready, but he also thinks they have made significant progress. Speaking of the level of progress already made, he said, well, the utility of a car, typically a passenger car, is going to be maybe 10, 10 hours a week, 12. If you say somebody's going to drive an hour and a half a day on average, maybe an hour commute per day and then an occasional long trip, but figure it's like 10, 12 hours a week is typical for a passenger vehicle. And then you also have a lot of costs associated with parking. You need a garage or you've got to buy a parking space or you've got to get a parking ticket at the mall. There are a lot of costs associated with cars. And now if you've got an autonomous car, that can go around and essentially be like an autonomous Uber. The utility, I think, is going to be what's going to be much higher, perhaps, you know. And this again, there's so much speculative. We're now at the point where the car can drive on highways and in cities where a human dimension is extremely rare. So, I mean, just, I was able to drive for several days just dropping a navigation pin in random locations in the greater Austin area with no interventions. And the same is true of San Francisco, which is a very difficult place to drive. So, I mean, it's, you've got bus lanes and one-way streets. You know, it's quite a challenging homeless situation. What more does the Tesla RoboTaxi need? For Tesla RoboTaxis to function properly, they need lots of features. Right now, some of the features that they come with are quite obvious. But from the look of things, these features might not be enough. For Tesla Robo Taxis to meet the needs of the average person, they need to be able to go head-to-head -head with Uber. This implies they will need to come up with some of the features that are associated with Uber. Well, if they do not come with these features, then they surely will need similar features. In addition to needing some Uber-like features, Tesla Robo Taxis will need a remote operations center. This will come in handy when rescuing vehicles in distress. Now that it is clear what Tesla robots need to operate, it has become quite obvious that this product is not ready for the market. This is because there are no signs of the features needed to make Robo Taxis a reality being available. Speaking of Tesla Robo Taxis being far from ready, Tesla is looking to build a generalized driving system that should work perfectly regardless of location and in the absence of detailed maps. This seems like a smart thing to do. However, it might be far from ideal as taxi services have different service areas. Also, they need to show a level of safety in these areas before they go ahead and carry out operations. These are enough reasons why Tesla isn't ready yet and might not be by the 8th of August. But there are other reasons too. One of them is Tesla is yet to come up with charging and cleaning infrastructures. The Tesla Robo Taxis might be far from ready. But already, it has passed a series of tests in the minds of several EV enthusiasts. This might not be surprising, but even though there is no doubt several folks are looking forward to owning one, lots of questions will need to be answered before this product finally becomes ready for public use. So, what do you think of the Tesla Robo Taxi? Will it do great in the EV market or will it struggle to cope? Kindly tell us in the comment section below. Also, before moving on, please subscribe to this channel if you are new here. See you in the next video.